So how you're going to be handling a live transcription assignment. And just like I told you the other day, you should download IDM and then after downloading IDM you should also download its Chrome extension, okay? That's the only thing that's going to make it possible for you to be downloading this audio file. So I start by opening the editor. And as soon as you have opened the editor, this this download icon always pops up when you're using IDM. Always be sure to take note of this number up here because this number is what is gonna get you to which file you've downloaded. So let's do a quick download. Anytime you download a audio file, it's going to be saved under the downloads folder, music subfolder. The number is 1785722, file number 27. After we've done that, we're going direct to rev.ai and uploading that file. So you're going to submit a job. So the file is number 27. Here it is. Submit it and we wait for it to upload. We click on next. Click on submit again. So as it as it, as it continues submitting, I'm going to open this extension tab and show you some of the extensions, Chrome extensions that are going to help you. This is not my main Chrome that I use, but there are so many extensions. Some of them are custom made, but these ones are the only ones that you can find on the Chrome web store. So let's open it. This one is Chrome Adblock. It's not for transcription. So what you're going to do, we're going to use Auto Refresh Plus. Download it. This one will help you in getting files from the no files. Okay. Just like I told you, you should set it at 40 seconds refreshing time. That's the only option that can override the capture. Okay, Buster Capture Solver, this one, solves capture automatically. No need to be clicking, clicking. Cookie Auto Delete, this one is for trading. This one hides my cookie so that you can be doing successful trades same case to this one this one is somewhat complicated but it's the same work as cookie auto delete uh, let's go to the reader this one helps me when I'm on a website let's say reading something and I don't want the white background I just want it to be dark dark mm, this one is not useful for now I'm not a robot capture clicker so it's capture but on a an advanced level IDM download it this one is what you need mostly keywords everywhere this one is for looking for keywords when I'm writing articles media save this one I used to use it when long time ago so let's just remove it from Chrome completely so it's not helping Okay, let's continue. Ignore this one. This one, the captures over. This one, you need it because whenever you have solved the captures, some of them are very like stubborn. They come up again. So this one co counters it. Okay, it's like whenever it comes up, this one deals with the ones that are reappearing again. This one is just like Grammarly, and that's it. Chrome remote desktop this one I use it to connect to clients to clients computers when I want to do for them some things on their computers so these ones are the only extensions that I use on this Chrome profile 
this is not my push of chrome properly so that's it if you can download the ones that are stated that are uh, that are important they're going to help you so much so let's move on we refresh here we download a script plain text as usual we open it copy everything control a control a you copy you can see control a control c highlight all copy all. okay after that we cancel that one we go back to our scripts this one is the scribing auto generated script it's always full of mistakes so we delete it there are two there are two 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 websites two ai websites that you can use for your uh, auto transcription these ones are the best okay whenever your chrome fails you make sure you're using sonics reason why I'm, i suggest sonics because sonics you know this this ai website uses there are some things we call engine okay so the only two ai auto transcription websites that use the best engine in the market is rave.ai and sonics you can google it and sign up so whenever my rave is not working up i always switch to sonics so we remove this script with full of mistakes control a delete or backspace control v we paste control s we save and that's it so you should always be very fast in doing these things and then after that we start by removing the timestamps and the speaker labeling okay and so you do these two all paragraphs and then you come now assuming that i've done all these and i've finished my work all i do is go to submit okay can't submit it because i haven't played this uh, shit <laughs> so we go to submit um has there i know you mentioned microaggressions but there something else happened that like made you uh you see, yeah, so, kind of if you've done the file well, of which I haven't done it, I was, this one was just to show you some examples. You come here, you check, if you've done it, you won't have this message over here, okay? This one is just to show you an example. I'll come back later and do it. So you go there, you go to continue. And then you submit your work. There is a place where they tell you to to state the accent. Okay, if you're not sure of the accent, just put North America. So in my next video, I'll be showing you how to work on this file. There are two methods. Okay, there's the first method of working passionately because that's what you want to do. You don't want money; you just want to work passionately. So on transcription, you don't give a fuck about the speed. And then there's the second method of working because you want money, okay? And that's the second method. It's for people who know the rules of Scribe and they work against them. Or they work according to the rules for their own advantage, okay? And the minor mistakes and major mistakes, that's it. So have a good night or day. So in this video, we are going to work on this file i'm going to show you various ways that you can work on a file there are two ways just like i stated in my previous video so the first one uh, the first one is where you, you just want to make a clean 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 whatever clean file okay you're not interested in speed and just passionately you just you're just very passionate about being a transcriber maybe it's your only gig it's your first job it's your only job you don't have anything else let's say subscribers to close this shit today you'll be jobless okay 
Do you talk about these challenges with other people in any group? So in this, in this one, you're going, you find that you're going to be removing the filler words. You're going to be removing the the utterances, the what, the what. Okay, when it's a clean verbal. But uh, I don't know how to explain this thing. Let's go to the guidelines. Transcription guidelines. Yeah, live. So there are some things that I always focus on when I'm working. When I started transcribing on this site, I focused on the main points. Mm. You see, so laughter should be omitted, not given. It's not a must to put on laughter, okay? It's not a must. Even if you don't put it, it's a minor mistake. It's not going to be content. So, when you're the first person who's passionate about transcription, I'm going to be putting these things, okay? Uh -huh. Feel how much you're going to be removing them because maybe you don't understand the rules, or maybe you understand the rules, but it just it's your passion. You just want to do it, you're not after the man. Okay, the entrances, these ones are going to be entrances should be omitted for a strict verbatim file. Okay, so if it's not a if it is not a strict verbatim file. If it's a strict verbatim file, we're going to be omitting the utterances. If it's a non-strict verbatim file, we're going to be putting the utterances, okay? Now strict. So even that if it's a clean, clean verbatim, let's say clean, clean means that it should not have any utterances. But this file you have chosen, it's a clean verbatim. So we're going to be including the utterances, but even if we leave the utterances in there, it's a minor mistake. No one is going to penalize you for that. This one you should be very clean on this, etc. And the cause, cause, C A U S E. -S -E. Either you write cause with an apostrophe at the beginning, or you write the full word because. Okay, that's it. So let's let me work on this on this one as a person who I'm not passionate. Okay, I know transcription, I know the rules about scribing, but this is what guides me. This one see there's this one category major mistakes and minor mistakes. As as long as I know these ones, major mistakes. Okay, and I know that one of the major mistakes is sound alike, like words that sound the same. Miss omission, misspell. And as long as you have put your script through Rev.ai, there's a high chance that you are going to have sound like misses, omission, misspell. Okay? Meaning that your script is going to be like, let's say, 80 85% correct. So there won't be these things. Mm -hmm. Now, minor mistakes fill out reason why I say that you, should, you can leave the filler ones because they are minor mistakes. No one can give a hoot about them. Even if they are going to be counted, they are going to be counted as minor. They are not going to affect your grade. So minor mistake, filler ones, false starts, style change, subjective change, okay? That's it. So as long as you know, this is this this one should be your Bible, your cheat sheet. This one. So now let me work like a person who knows these rules and I'm going to use them for my advantage, okay? So you go back to our transcription file. If it hasn't been recorded, okay, here it is. And before you start working on it, kindly note these words, all of them. You don't have to cram them, just pass through them. And after that, you come here, you see this this icon, where is it? B Okay, you click these three dots. You see this icon here, information, view additional file information. Click it anytime before you start working on a file. Just read the those keywords down there and these ones too. Because there's a high chance that the customer given you some of the names of 
the people who who are going to be named in the file. Okay. So your customer's name is Melissa. Customer instructions. Okay, spelling is American, so meaning that the accent should be North America or American or whatever, anything American. Uh, this interview is part of a research project about the experience of Asian American and Latino students at Indiana universities and transcripts may have words in Spanish. That's my hyper reflection doing its thing. Please label the first speaker interview as EINT. Now, you don't have to label this one. This one is for the QCs. Some, someone up the food chain there. Because okay. So, I see my time is going up so fast. I think we'll have to do another video as so we do this one. So, let me now explain. There are four levels in Scribe. There's the transcription, the review, the proofread, and then there's a QC. So if you are a, a, a transcriber and you do you work on these files like the way I'm doing, the filler was the what someone else up there is going to be removing the filler ones for you. Down here you, you are only interested in money, okay? May your interest be money in this life. As long as you are doing clean work, the grade is up. Okay. And you don't have major mistakes, only minor mistakes. You can have 100 minor mistakes and zero major mistakes. It all depends on how you understand the rules. So, you talk about these challenges, blah, blah, blah. I told you, you remove the speaker labeling and timestamps up to the last part. And then go on. Let's start. Uh, do you talk about these challenges with other people in any organizations that you're part of? Oh yeah, for sure. I like I'm pretty vocal about about like things that I go through. Okay. Uh, so you see, there was there was this repetition here, but since it should be clean, I should remove this one, one of them. Okay. But since I know that even repetition is not a major mistake, let's say I didn't I didn't delete it. I'm going to leave it like that. Okay. And sometimes I always put the speed to something like 110 or 120 just to be through the file as fast as possible. This one, this one is a, a it's an utterance. I can leave it or I can remove it. I think in Scribe they want double M, no? but whatever, because I know it's a minor mistake. Are there any challenges that you anticipate like in the upcoming summer break at all? I'm gonna have to work a, a lot because like I really want to make some more money before I come back. Um, come back. Um, it's just like getting opportunities and not being able to do them. But you see, whenever there's a mm, in a place where you're supposed to break the paragraphs, okay, so this one, always break the paragraphs. So, and that's that's how you do it. So this one, you see, I've left so many minor mistakes. If you look at this paragraph from here to here, I've left so many minor mistakes. Now, let me do it on a using the passionate style okay someone who's passionate about transcription and what abuse so let's start again do you talk about these challenges with other people in other organizations that you're part of oh yeah for sure i like I'm, so i'm going to remove the o and start with here yeah. yeah for sure sure i like i'm pretty vocal about about like things that i go through okay um are there any challenges that you anticipate, like, in the upcoming summer break at all? I'm going to have to work on a lot. Because, like, I really want to make some more money before I come back. Um, it's just, like, getting opportunities and not being able to do them because you're broke. So up to there, I've made it according. There are no, my, there are no minor mistakes. That's it. And if they are there, maybe one. one. 
and that's how you are. Those are the two styles. Now, in the second, in the first style, which I used, you can you, you within like just say, you can use like three minutes for downloading and putting pushing this audio to Rev.ai, then downloading it again, copying the script. Let's say within one hour and forty-five minutes that are left, that's when you start your work. So it will take you roughly, let's say 12 minutes to finish this one. So 12 plus 5, that's 17. So within one minute, within, you'll have, you'll have been left with one hour and but three minutes. So within 17 minutes, you should have finished this one. Using the first style verb, but you're ignoring the minor mistakes and focusing on removing only the major. Number two. If you're using the passionate style, you're going to use more than 30 minutes, okay? Because your interest is not money, your interest is doing a clean work according to all the rules of the website. So do what you want to do. Those are the two styles. I don't know if there's a third one. Now let's explain this bar here to this one, from here to here to here. This one is the play. Okay. Use it. You use it to play. This one is the. Those. This one is go back. Just like it's it's written. You go to the start. This one is five seconds back, five seconds ahead. This one is skipping to the end. This one is skipping to the start. This one's a volume. I think this one is refresh. This one is undo. This one. This one is undo. This one is redo. Okay. Let's say I highlight this one and I delete it. By by what not? I delete it. So I want to undo that change. I'll come here and undo. That's it. This one is redo. This one is to highlight what. I don't know how it's used. Okay, this one is zoom in, zoom out. This one is timestamps. You use it mostly in review and the other place of reading, going up the chain. This one is find the words. Let's say I want to find this one challenge, okay? And I want to delete all the words named challenge or replace them with some. I'll come here, put the challenge. Enter the ones that I want to replace them with. If I don't want to replace them, I want to delete them. I'll just say, I leave this one blank, replace all with a blank space. That's it. Let's move on. This one is spell check. You click here, it extends the this bar. I think this one is another toolbar. This one shows you the frequent terms that have been used. In this text, okay. So let's see if there's a word challenge. Yeah, it's there. So you can use this one to, to check the experience of some weird names. This one is the save icon. Anytime you're working on a file, make sure that after every one minute, you save it. Failure to reach that file is going to be recalled and give reassign to another person. This is the cancel. If a file is not good for you, you are not here in shape, you just cancel it. And that's it. Don't think if you need any more training from that. Any other thing that I've left? Oh, researching words, okay? Now let's say this one. This is let's replace any word here with a very hard one. Like Let's say Obama. Let's assume this this word was here. So, and you don't know the spelling of the word Obama. This is for example. So you're going to highlight that word you don't know. Okay. Let's write. Let's write it badly. Or Guam. 
No, you're not sure of this spelling, okay? Because you don't know if it's a Vama or a Guama or whatever. So you're going to highlight it. Highlight all of it. And then go to search. Google search, okay? Google search. You search it. Yeah. So there's a place called the Guama, but my main interest was Senator or President of Guam. Okay, so let's assume that it was President of Guam. President of Guam. Yeah, that one. So you highlight all of it, we search it. And it's going to show us, Google is going to show us the correct name is President Obama. And that's how you search words that are hard. You don't have to go again and open another, whatever, another tab. You just search it, jupa juu, apo kwa apo, there and then. And that's it. So, after there, if you are newbie, you know the ways, you know the ropes of scribe. You can do practice on your own. If you need, your test is done, I have a team of four people who are always working on that thing. So you can always reach out, leave a comment or reach out. My number is plus two five four seven nine zero nine three seven seven eight zero.